بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الأول الآخر الباطن وصلى الله عليه وسلم وبارك على رسوله الكريم سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله إن شاء الله we will begin now on the new names of the blessed names of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and we are now on the first of our names is Al Muhsi. Al Muhsi. We begin with this name, and we can say that the Muhsi is the one who is knowing and knows everything. And that knowing is also taking into account the actions, the knowledge of the actions of that person. So it is the one who, it's translated as, one of the ways we can translate it as the absolute reckoner or the one who judges or takes to account with full knowledge of that person's actions and what they've done. So he's the all knowledgeable who knows everything about that person and then he is the only one who knows the extent of what that person has been doing, what they hid, what they didn't hide, all the different things that influences them, what made them a good person or not. Only Allah knows all those details in absolute perfect way. Even we don't know it. Allah knows us better than we know ourselves. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge us with absolute knowledge and absolute perfection. So He is the absolute reckoner. Al Muhsi. He is the one that is going to judge that. All right. The next one is Al Mubdi'u. Al Mubdi'u. And Al Mu'id. Al Mubdi'u Al Mu'id. And the Mubdi is the one who brings into existence. But when you bring into existence something that never had anything like it before, it's original, never existed before. So, in a way, this is similar to Fatir. Al Mubdi is the one who brings into existence something that had no likeness before. And Al Mu'id is the one who restores things after originating them, meaning that they'll be resurrected in the same way that they were created. So all things are originated by Allah, and then all things will be restored back by Allah on the Day of Judgment. Yes. Muid. So Al Mubdi is the one who originates and brings into existence creation. But in particular, he's bringing into as the Mubdi is the one who brings into existence something that never had the likeness before. Like there were no such thing as humans before us not how we understand humans, children of Adam. We don't believe there's, we don't believe we came from monkeys, put it that way, okay? Maybe there might have been monkeys and maybe there were monkey looking people, but who we are, we're the children of Adam. And Adam is the first human being, that's what we believe in, right? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought all of us and this world, this universe into existence of which it didn't originate before. He's the Mubdi. 
is the one that brings it in. But then when all things are gone and all things need to be restored, he is the one that then restores it, brings it back to its original form. In particular, this is pretty much referring to the Day of Judgment. Because just like in this world he made you, you came into being, then you'll die, turn into bones and dust. But on the Day of Judgment, Allah will bring you and restore you back the way you were. Now that recreating is not new necessarily, it's re restoring you back to the way you were. So he's al mubdi al muid He's the one that originated and he's the one who will then restore you. So these are pairs of names that go together because they're doing very similar things or things that relate to one another. Al-Muhsi was the absolute reckoner, the one who's going to judge you because with full knowledge. Al-Mubdi al-Mu'id, he's the one that originates you and brings you in, then he restores you. The next two sets of names that go together is Al-Muhyi al-Mumid. Al-Muhyi is the one who brings into existence, gives life. Okay, so when a thing is exist, when a thing that exists has life, that is attributed to the name al-Muhyi. So things Allah could have built or brought into existence that didn't exist, but it doesn't have life, like water and earth and you know things like that. But actually, human beings were objects like other things, but we have life. We have a different life. Okay. That is Al-Muhyi, the one who gave and gives life. Things cannot die off on their own. Nothing just dies on its own. The only way something could die is that Allah takes its soul or takes the life of that thing that's alive. So when Allah decides no longer He's going to give life to it, then He gives death to it and then He retracts the life, you die. And that is called Al-Mumit. Al-Muhyi Al-Mumid. No one other than Allah gives life and no one other than Allah takes life. Obviously if someone commits murder, that's terrible. And the person who does it will go to hell if God doesn't forgive him. It's a terrible thing and it's a very bad sin. But nonetheless, when they die and they come out of existence, it, is, it will be Allah that takes them out of existence, not just because their heart stops. Okay? Their heart stops because Allah makes their heart stop. Then they leave this world because Allah wills that they leave this world. Did you get that? So those go in together. The giver of life and death. The giver of life and death. The next two pairs of names are very special names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are Al-Hay Al-Qayyum. Al-Hay Al-Qayyum. The first one, Al-Hay is the one who is the living. The one who is attributed with living. Allah is alive. He lives. And it is by His Hayat, by His life or existence, that all things take their existence. We live and we have our life because God exists and is alive. Okay? And when we say God is alive or attributed with life, it's not in any way we, can, we understand. God is not existing in a time that He's alive and then He's going to die. Right? God exists and has life, but in a way we don't know how. Okay? It's a very different type of life. He's alive. He's high. The opposite of high would be dead, and we don't believe God is dead. Nor can God ever die, nor can He sleep, nor does He get tired. These things don't pertain to God. God doesn't get tired. He doesn't sleep. He doesn't die. He will never end. God will never end like we do. We will end. We will die. We go to sleep. We get tired. This is what humans do. Nothing of what humans do is ever like what God does. You got that? Al-Hay. And then Al-Qayyum. Al-Qayyum is the one who is self-subsisting or self-existent, right? He exists not because of anyone, 
He exists because of himself. Do you get that? We exist because Allah gives us existence. We are alive because Allah gave us life. We are everything we are because Allah is doing that for us and to us every moment. But Allah, He is Al Qayyum, Qa'imun Bidatihi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is self subsisting and is not in need of anyone for His existence. He doesn't need time, he doesn't need space, he doesn't need energy, he doesn't need food, he doesn't need nourishment, he doesn't even need us to worship him. He doesn't need anything at all because he exists by virtue of his own power and his own strength. He doesn't need anything or anyone. The scholars, some scholars, they say these are the two names of the secret names of Allah by which if you call him by these two names Allah will answer whatever you want him to ask whatever you ask him for what do I mean by that there is the ism al -Azam, the greatest name of Allah it's the secret hidden names if you use these names and call on Allah for anything that you ask for Allah will give you that but no one knows what that name is one of the opinions of the scholars is it's these two names coupled together Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyum, Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyum. Oh, the one who is alive and living and the one who exists by virtue is his own self, self-subsisting, not in need of anything to exist. Ya Hayyu, Ya Qayyum. In one of the Muslim countries, before Fajr early in the morning, before the morning prayer, they say, Ya Hayyu Ya Qayyum, La ilaha illa anta, Ya Hayyu Ya Qayyum, La ilaha illa anta, Ya Hayyu Ya Qayyum, La ilaha illa anta. O oh, the ever living and self subsisting, there is no God save you. Beautiful thinking. It really brings the heart to life. If you ever wake up in the middle of the night, you want to do a powerful dhikr, say, Ya Hayyu Ya Qayyum La Ilaha Illa Anta. And Allah will be pleased with you. And then you can go back to sleep. Write down your question. Ya Hayyu Ya Qayyum La Ilaha Illa Anta. So this lesson we will split here and inshallah continue with the other names.